A big surprise for one family fishing in a northern California creek. Their question, what did they catch? At first, from the looks of it, they thought that the fish might have been a piranha, but we did speak to California Fish and Wildlife, and they say, while it's not a piranha like you see here on the right, it's likely not native to our region. This all happened at Dry Creek, just near Dry Creek Community Park. Not a place you'd think you'd find that kind of fish. <laughs> this had us asking Fish and Wildlife, how does this happen and how often? KCRA 3's Orca Manis spoke to the family and wildlife officials about the surprise catch. And boy, this was pretty unexpected, Orco. Yeah, Edie, the family that went fishing yesterday says that they were shocked when they reeled that fish in. But fish and wildlife officials tell me they actually see non-native species pretty often in California waterways, and it's not a good thing. A fish far from home. This is 10 year old Jaden Fish Kessler fishing in Dry Creek Sunday just north of Antelope. It's something he often does, but what he caught was beyond his wildest imagination. I see that water. I really it formed like that. I thought it was a giant blue beetle. It turns out it was a big fish with teeth that led his family to think it was a piranha. I was on the um more downstream, so I couldn't see. So I, I I ran down and I was like, "That's a piranha!" And I was like, "What the heck?" The youngest of the bunch had a different idea. I was like, "That's a baku." <laughs> I was like, that <laughs> While it's too hard to tell from the photos and there's no way to check now since the kids put the fish back in the water, experts are taking an educated guess as to what the fish actually is. The highest probability is that it's not a piranha. It's a fish that looks a lot like a piranha. It's called a paku. Patrick Foy with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife says a big difference is that a piranha has sharp, dangerous teeth as seen here, while a paku as seen here have more human-like teeth. Piranhas are also known as a restricted species, meaning they cannot be kept without a permit. Pakus are actually an aquarium species and are not native to the region. They're originally from South America, but can be sold at pet stores. Foy says, unfortunately, people often dump non-native aquarium fish in local waterways. Invasive species are a problem throughout California. Foy tells me the dumping of these fish happen quite often in California. And when non-native species like pakus get introduced to the ecosystem, it's really bad for the fish who are supposed to be here. They're, uh, they're an exotic fish that could potentially compete with native California fisheries and, and potentially uncompete them. And fish and wildlife officials tell me if you do catch what you think is a piranha, you should call them and they'll come out and take a look. You should not throw it back in the water. And there are actually laws against transporting fish like that. So again, it's best to just reach out to the experts. Live in the newsroom tonight, Orco Manda, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, I think it might be hard to sleep after seeing those teeth. <laughs> yeah, take your pick. Both teeth are ugly. All right, thanks, Orco.